Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Stack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we got a couple new items and a returning item that I'm trying for the second time ever. Usually, I don't do a second time review. I don't. I don't re do a review but last year i was so disappointed in the mint oreo shake that they gave me and this one looks a little bit more promising um but we're, we're redoing that and then they got a new birthday cake shake and a prime rib burger that doesn't look extremely promising looks like some cheap prime rib it's got a uh, horseradish sauce caramelized onion sauce uh well sorry french onion sauce caramelized onions and american cheese so yeah let's go ahead let me grab the milkshakes so i can pose for this thumbnail and have a little bit of a tricky situation like why are they not i don't know all right that's your thumbnail sticking with it is what it is um Things get complicated sometimes. We'll start with the burger. Prime rib. Let's go in. A little bland. The meat's kind of tough. Not much to this. A second bite had some sauce to it, so a little bit better on the second bite. That's kind of sad when I can say that the steak that Hardy's uses is probably better than this. The flavor is okay. But the steak is just entirely too tough. It's rubbery in a way. I am extremely disappointed in this sandwich. Like, and I've really enjoyed a lot of their sandwiches in the past. But that one, that was kind of hard to get through. Um, the only redeeming quality is, of course, there's a little bit of that horseradish, a little bit of that French onion sauce that adds some flavor to it but outside of that there's really nothing that i could say that would redeem it I, i'm gonna give it a four because it's not the worst thing i've ever had but man textures everything so we're gonna go ahead and try the new birthday cake shake um just in case that any y'all want to go ahead and dip out before we get into the mint So they basically use custard. These sprinkles are very sweet. And there's some cake flavor to it. It's not a mind-blowing shake, but it's pretty good. This would pair well with any go-to item that you get. I'd say, I think a seven's good. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Can the mint Oreo shake redeem itself from last year? No, it's better than last year, but we're gonna see. Last year's issue was I couldn't really taste any mint. This year's issue, pretty similar. It is better, but again, it needs more mint. And I don't know if it's the fact that they use custard, which is still not an excuse. There's plenty of custard places that do mint, and they do a really good job at it. But 
But for the most part, this does just taste like an average mint shake. I mean, average Oreo shake with a, a little bit of mint. Yeah, just not minty enough. I give it a five. It, it's it's good. It's okay, but the objective is you want this strong mint Oreo flavor, and come short. So that is my review. I'm sticking to it, and I'll see y'all around.